Is traveling to Egypt on your bucket list? Well, I just got back from a nine day adventure in Egypt with EF Ultimate Break, including a Nile River cruise. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you all the adventures, itinerary highlights, and if you should travel to Egypt or not. Let's go. We started our journey in Cairo, the capital city of Egypt. I got to Egypt by taking an overnight flight from Washington Dulles Airport to Istanbul and then flying from Istanbul to Cairo. Upon landing in Cairo, we were picked up by the group and taken to the hotel. We were driven to the hotel to sleep and get ready for the next full day of adventures. Upon waking up, we slept at the Steinberger Pyramids Hotel and the view was absolutely breathtaking. We could see the pyramids right from our patios. It was mesmerizing. So the first day started off with a bang. We went to visit the famous Great Pyramids of Giza, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, and the last remaining as well. And we also explored the Sphinx, and learned about the history and culture of Egypt from our knowledgeable and passionate tour guide, Hasem. This was honestly one of the highlights of the trip for me because our tour guide was so passionate about Egypt and that sparked within us all a passion about learning about Egyptian history and culture and all of the tombs and temples that we were visiting. Here's a word from Hasem in front of the Sphinx. One thing I'm going to say is they lived a life much more advanced than ours. We are literally playing catch up to their civilization and if you don't believe it, Come here and see it for yourself. After spending the morning exploring the pyramids and the Sphinx, we went to an awesome lunch spot that was overlooking the pyramids. The food the whole time in Egypt was amazing. And then after that, we finished the afternoon by visiting temples and learning more about Egyptian history. Honestly, my mind is so blown from everything that we learned. It was so fascinating to learn about. And we finished the day off with an amazing group dinner. It was candlelit. It was under the stars and absolutely breathtaking. It was the perfect first day in Egypt. The next day we woke up bright and early and took a short flight from Cairo to Aswan. Aswan is a city on the Nile River known for its scenic river views and archeological sites. Once we got to Aswan, we climbed aboard a cute boat and it took us to a Nubian village where we learned more about Egyptian history and culture and saw some really beautiful little buildings and artwork. We got to meet some locals, had some snacks and tea, and we learned a whole lot. It was so cool to see an experience. Then we got onto another boat and had a lovely lunch. After checking into our beautiful hotel and resting a bit, we went to a candlelit dinner overlooking the temple of Philae. It was so incredible. This is ultimate. We are about to get on a cruise ship today for a three night and four day cruise ship adventure, which I'm really excited for. The next day we embarked on our Nile River cruise. We explored the Philae temple located on an island in the Nile River. It was so cool because when you're visiting these temples on your own, you're looking at it and yes, it's incredible and amazing to look at, but when you go with a guide, you learn so many stories behind each picture and hieroglyph and why things were built the way they were. So strongly recommend going with a group trip for this reason. A knowledgeable guide, Egyptologist, will be able to give you such a further enriched experience. After learning, we had time to explore and take photos. And then we were off to the local markets where we learned about perfume oils, frankincense, and traditional local remedies. We got to smell a bunch of different perfumes and aromatherapy. And I bought a special perfume that's only made here in Egypt called Secret of the Desert. It was really interesting because we also learned that a lot of like the designer perfumes and everything are made from scents that originated here in Egypt. For sunset, we boarded a traditional felucca for a peaceful and scenic sail along the Nile River. What was funny though was that there wasn't enough wind to keep the felucca going because it has a massive sail and that's how it goes down the river. And so it got passed into sunset, it got dark, 
and we were sort of stranded on this boat, but it was really fun because the group, we all started playing games, we played two truths and a lie, and really got to know each other, and bonded and laughed over snacks and tea. Okay, so we're on the cruise, we're cruising the Nile right now, on the little Palusha, and we're laughing because there's no wind. There's the wind is and then we were rescued by another boat, but it honestly ended up being one of my favorite nights of the trip because we all got to know each other so well and laughed a whole lot. It was a lot of fun. The next morning was the first morning awake up on the cruise ship on the Nile. I started my morning off with morning journaling and the warm Egyptian sun and it was honestly like such a grounding peaceful experience because it really helped me be like wow I'm so grateful to be here right now waking up on the Nile River in Egypt something I've dreamed about my whole life ever since I was a kid traveling to Egypt learning about the Nile River like it felt so surreal to be in the moment and experiencing it and something like journaling really helps me ground myself especially on fast-paced travels to help me further appreciate the moment and the beauty of where I'm at. So that was definitely a morning highlight for me. And then the group all went to Kom Ombo, an agricultural town previously known as the City of Gold. Then we all boarded the ship for lunch. The meals on the cruise ship and the whole time in Egypt were absolutely amazing. I was feeling great the entire time, loved the meals. The cruise ship then continued the route north through sunset en route to Luxor. On the last full day of the cruise, we had tours of both Karnak Temple and Luxor Temple. In Karnak Temple, we had a walking tour throughout the complex of pillars, statues, and hieroglyphics. It was absolutely mind-blowing to see and experience what the ancient Egyptians built all those years ago, and the fact that it's still standing, it's absolutely mind-blowing in scale, and the colors are still so vibrantly there, it's just, it's mind-blowing to think about and experience and also learn about the stories from our guide. And then for sunset, we headed to the Luxor Temple, located on the bank of the Nile, for a walking tour, viewing obelisks, the avenue of sphinxes, temple halls, statues, and the mosque. It was so cool to learn about. The next morning in Luxor was so special because we woke up bright and early and went for a sunrise hot air balloon ride. This was my first ever hot air balloon ride. I am definitely one for adventure activities and so I was super down for this activity. It was so magical, waking up with the earth, hearing all the little birdies chirping all around, and then watching them blow up this massive hot air balloon. The fact that it's able to fly with hot air so big and carry up to like 20 people in this basket, so crazy. Our whole group was able to get into the same hot air balloon and it was so magical, everyone floating around. We really enjoyed the morning all up there. It took a bunch of pictures and videos and really enjoyed the experience. It was so peaceful and the landing was very entertaining. <laughs> then we were off to explore the west bank of Luxor where we saw tombs of Queen Hatshepsut and King Tut in the Valley of the Kings. This place is very popular and popular for a reason. Walking into these underground tombs, it was just, again, so mind-blowing. Like the whole time I was just like picturing how they built this all those years ago, the dedication, the detail, the stories behind it that our guide was telling us about. So mind-blowing. I just keep saying mind-blowing because that was honestly my experience in Egypt the whole time, in awe. We also saw the Colossi of Memnon and the Temple of Queen Hatshepsut. We then concluded our Nile River cruise and took a quick flight back to Cairo to spend our final two days in Egypt. We visited the citadel of Salah al-Din and the Alabaster Mosque, then Coptic Cairo. This is the quiet home to some of the oldest churches in the history of Christianity. So it was very interesting. We had a very religious focused morning. You are standing right where yeah. Jesus was. Where we learned all about the background of Christianity, Muslim, all these different religions, how they linked together, where they originated from. Super, super cool to learn about. And then for lunch, we went to an actual palace. It felt like a fairy tale scene out of the movie Aladdin. I felt like I was in my Disney princess dreams. It was so magical and the food, so delicious. So, so good. After this, we visited the Egyptian Museum, which houses an impressive collection of artifacts from ancient Egypt, including the famous King Tut's golden mask. 
seeing the gold and the way that it still shines and the way that they built it so intricately with all these details for King Tut and learning the stories behind it again, mesmerizing. The next day, we also had some free time to explore the city before heading back home, so I decided to join the group to visit the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization, and we had an amazing farewell dinner with the group. It was so lovely, and again, the food, the hospitality, the service, all incredible all around. This trip with EF Ultimate Break was one of the most memorable trips of my life. EF Ultimate Break plans group trips for travelers aged 18 to 35 years old to so many destinations all over the world. And I'm gonna be honest with you, taking a group trip with EF Ultimate Break is the way to go for traveling to Egypt. I had heard a lot of concerns prior to traveling to Egypt about safety, logistics, getting around, and honestly, EF Ultimate Break made sure that we, everyone in the group, felt safe, felt secure, and had amazing travel experience the whole time. Across the board, all of us, we were so blown away by this amazing experience that EF Ultimate Break hosted and planned for us. So I would so strongly recommend going the group tour route for traveling to Egypt. There are so many places that when we visited, I'm like, I would not have had this much of an enriched of an experience if I had gone on my own because you learn, like, it's one thing to see it, but then it's another thing to hear the stories about it and the behind the scenes and the why from an Egyptologist, from a tour guide who is so passionate about it and who can teach you and tell you stories about the behind the scenes of it too. And so honestly, like, this was such an enriched experience because of our professional tour guide and Egyptologist, Haysom. So thank you so much, Haysom, for your incredible passion and knowledge that you shared with the group. Thank you so much, EF Ultimate Break, for planning an amazing adventure for everyone. You guys have to check out this group tour. Everything was so organized and streamlined. In the end, you should absolutely travel to Egypt. Egypt has so much to offer. Absolutely mind-blowing as far as history and ancient civilizations and culture. I will definitely be going back and I so strongly recommend it. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and here's to living your most extraordinary life. My name is Monica Furi and I'll see you in a future video. Bye!